Chicken Salt in Boca. It's a classic Italian dish that features thin chicken cutlets wrapped in prosciutto and sage and then covered in a buttery white wine sauce. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about chicken. We're making chicken salt in bocca. What is chicken salt in bocca? It's a classic Italian dish and it features thin chicken cutlets that are wrapped with prosciutto and sage and then it's covered with a buttery white wine sauce. Now, salt in bocca traditionally is made with veal, but here in America, we've adapted it to use chicken, pork, and even fish. Now, because the chicken is very, very thin, it cooks up really quickly. Now, some versions call for having spinach and cheese. Mine doesn't. Mine is a little simpler. Let's get started. I have here some chicken breasts. These are four chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, about six ounces or 170 grams each. Now, I've trimmed them of the extra fat and gristle. Sometimes they have some extra pieces. And I just pounded them out to about a quarter inch, which is around seven mil millimeters. We want them nice and thin. You can, if you want, buy the pre-cut chicken cutlets. I'm gonna start by seasoning lightly both sides of salt and pepper. If you don't want too much salt, because the prosciutto is gonna have salt with it, but you want some. So let's do both sides. Next, I have here small purpose flour. We're just going to dredge this lightly. Now I don't mean pack it on like a breading, I mean exactly that, very light dredge. Why are we doing that? That's going to help our sauce be a little velvety, give it some flavor. It's going to help the prosciutto stick to the chicken, just like that. All right, our chicken is all dredged in flour. Now we want to add some sage. Let's turn this to a good place. I have here a bunch of fresh sage leaves. I just love it. And all we're going to do is going to lay out two on each piece of chicken. Just like that. Doesn't get much easier. Next is our prosciutto. Here we are. Now this is cut thinly, but not shaved. So when you get your prosciutto, look for maybe the pre-cut kind if you can. It's cut a little thicker than the shaved, or ask the deli person to cut it a little thicker than normal. Not really thick, but it shouldn't be shaved like it normally is. We're just going to put a piece of prosciutto on each piece of chicken. Now I kind of like to give a little pat just to help it stick down. I gotta get my pan going. I'm gonna put my pan, my nice large skillet here, over medium high heat. All right, I've got my pan going. Now I wanna add some olive oil. Regular olive oil is fine. Just a couple tablespoons. I'm using regular instead of extra virgin because it has a higher smoke point. We don't want this smoking screaming hot. We want to let this heat until the oil is just starting to shimmer. My oil is shimmering, so now it's time to add the chicken breasts. We're going to add this prosciutto side down, and that's to help the prosciutto cook and adhere to the chicken. Just like that. Now 
All right, I've got my chicken in. We're gonna let this cook three, four minutes on the first side or until it's lightly browned, and then we'll turn it. We're ready to turn our chicken. Look at that, beautiful. All right, we're gonna let this cook on the other side. Another two or three minutes, maybe. All right, my chicken is ready to come out now. And if you're not sure, use your handy dandy probe thermometer. You wanna hit around 160 Fahrenheit. Carryover cooking will take it the rest of the way. These are ready to go. Look how beautiful. And he's gonna hang out here and rest. We'll move them out of the way. And now we're gonna build our sauce. In the same pan, we're going to add some wine. I have 10 ounces of a dry white wine, which is 295 mils, right in the pan. I want to use this to scrape up any of those little bits on the bottom of the pan. This is called the glazing, just like that. Now let's turn the heat up. We want this to come to a boil, and then we'll bring it to a simmer and we'll allow it to reduce at least by half. If you don't want to use wine, you can use chicken stock. All right, my wine is reduced. I'm gonna lower the heat. We're gonna add a little more flavor. A little bit of lemon juice. Two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, right in. And now what makes it a sauce? Butter. I've got four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna whisk these in one tablespoon at a time. And I'm going to whisk them constantly. I'm constantly gonna stir this in. That's gonna make our sauce velvety and rich. Now this is not going to be like a gravy thick. It's going to be a sauce, but you'll see the butter will make it nice and rich. All right, I'm gonna keep adding this one tablespoon at a time. When we're done, it will be ready to taste. Here we are, my favorite time. It's time for the tasting. But first, let's plate this chicken. I have a nice big bed of wilted spinach. Uh, you could use broccoli rabe if you want something extra bitter. You could put this over mashed potatoes, over pasta or rice. I'm using spinach today. I'm just going to lay these out right on the platter. As pretty as you can. There we go. All right. Now that lovely sauce that we made. We're just going to spoon it over the top. A little bit like that. Now it's my favorite time, the things I do for you. It's time to taste. Let me get a little plate. I'm gonna take this guy right on the end. All right. So let's see how we did today. I want some chicken and that sage. Got a little prosciutto on there. Mmm. That's really good. I want a little bit more sauce on it. Mmm. Now I have to have another taste. I 
I can't. This is delicious. Chicken is perfectly cooked, tender, juicy. Nice little hit from the prosciutto, the earthiness from the sage, and then that sauce, it's buttery and bright, just flavor all over the place. Mmm. This is the same wine in my glass that is in the sauce. Mmm. Perfect pairing. All right, as always, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll never, ever miss an episode of Let's Celebrate TV. Now, I think I'm gonna go hide in a dark corner and eat this all by myself. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers. <laughs>